okay in the previous classes we had uh, looked at concepts of uh, uh, quasi 1d flow and we looked at an application to speed of sound and let us apply it to some uh, problems to see how these um, uh, principles can be applied so uh, take uh, this particular uh, numerical example so the figure shows a control volume uh, containing an engineering device which ingests uh, ambient air so air is ingested into this uh, control volume and um, mm, at uniform uh, temperature so uh, at uh, 300 kelvin so it is ingesting at 300 kelvin and uh, velocity is uh, 20 meter per second mm. and uh, through an area of uh, 0.5 meter square uh, the air exists uh, the control volume uh, and the area of exit is the same as the area of inlet so a e is a in uh, and uh, this device is being held the restraints uh, holding the device experience a force of 0.5 kilo newton so uh, the force experienced by the uh, restraints is 0.5 kilo newton uh, no mass is added into this uh, control volume and pressure remains all over the surface at uh, one bar and uh, the exit uh, uh, velocity and temperatures are taken to have uniform profiles so they are having the same uh, profiles shear and gravitational forces are neglected uh, consider air as a perfect gas with r is 287 cp is 1005 joules per kg kelvin and gamma is uh, 1.4 so first uh, is calculate mass flow rate through the system mm, outlet flow properties that is velocity and uh, temperature heat transfer and its uh, uh, direction so uh, and uh, comment whether the inlet and outlet flows are compressible or not so mm, uh, so let's uh, look at uh, this particular uh, example so uh, from uh, the picture so uh, this is the control volume and area is given area is 0.5 meter square and ambient pressure is 1 bar mm, everywhere it is 1 bar and flow is coming in 20 meter per second and uh, temperature at this end is uh, given as 300 kelvin and it is given that flow properties are uniform at the other end and there is a force of uh, uh, 500 newtons that is getting applied over here so first is what is the mass flow rate mass flow rate is uh, rho v a that is a density velocity and area um, so here what do we know at the inlet we know uh, velocity is known area is known but we don't know uh, density but uh, density can be found uh, using p is equal to rho r t uh, pressure at inlet is known temperature at inlet is known and uh, r is known so a rho is um, p inlet by uh, r t uh, so this is uh, 1 to 87 multiplied by uh, 300 kelvin so 300 kelvin so this works out to be uh, 1.16 Now you can uh, uh, that is kilogram per meter cube and that can be directly uh, substituted into mass flow rate mass flow rate is then rho v a s 0.5 and 20 which is uh, 11.64 kilogram per second so kilogram per second this is what is the mass flow rate 
uh, through the system. Uh, so, uh, now uh, the question is uh, uh, what is the um, uh, outlet uh, flow properties, velocity and uh, temperature. Now, uh, let us go to the outlet and uh, we know that there is a force getting applied which is uh, 500 uh, newtons of uh, force. Now, mass flow rate through the system uh, remains the same. Uh, the pressure is also uh, the same. So, if you look at uh, uh, the um, now the area is uh, remaining the same. So, across from uh, beginning to the end. Uh, so, if you look at uh, uh, the momentum conservation equation, so that is the principle that we have to use here, uh, which uh, says m dot multiplied by um, v 2 minus v 1 okay, should be equal to the force applied. That is the force applied here is uh, 500 uh, Newton. So, uh, we can uh, V 1 is known here which is 20 meter per second and um, so, this is 11.64. So, V 2 can be uh, directly found plus uh, 20 which is uh, this turns out to be um, 63.066 meter per second. So, there has been an increase in the uh, velocity of the flow. Now, if you look at uh, this, uh, uh, now we need to find what is the uh, temperature, but we do not have any uh, information even on the uh, velocity. Uh, that again you can use mass conservation because rho 1 v 1 equal to rho 2 v 2. So, now we know both uh, v 1 and uh, v 2. So, from here we can um, uh, find out what is the uh, density of the uh, in the case of the uh, second uh, at the section 2. Okay. So, uh, then you can write rho 2 is rho 1 v 1 by v 2 and uh, if you make the substitutions you can get this velocity I mean this density is smaller 0 0.3681 kilogram per meter cube. So, now we know the uh, density now the pressure is also known uh, at the section which is 1 bar. So, temperature we can find out uh, T uh, 2 is P 2 by R rho 2 which is divided by into. So, T 2 uh, comes out to be 946.56 Kelvin. So, you see that the temperature has increased uh, significantly clearly indicating that there has been uh, an addition of heat. Now, that is the I think next question that uh, how much uh, heat is transferred and its direction. So, uh, we can look at uh, the amount of heat transferred. So, for that we have to go to um, uh, the uh, principle of uh, conservation of energy. So, there uh, it is H 2 plus uh, V 2 square by 2 minus H 1 plus V 1 square by 2 should be equal to the amount of heat added Q dot and so uh, there is a mass flow rate. So, if you multiply this with M dot with total heat added will be given. Now, uh, H is actually C p multiplied by uh, temperature. So, C p t. So, you can uh, write this as m dot C p t 2 minus t 1 
plus uh, v2 square minus v1 square by 2 equal to q dot. So, this is 11 point uh, 64 and CP is given 1005 this is uh, 946 56 minus uh, T1 is 300 V2 square V2 is given we have found that out that is 63 point minus V1 square is 20 meters per second by 2. If you do this, you should get Q dot as um, 7, uh, it is close to 7.5 uh, megawatts because in it is in uh, per second, joules per second. So, it will be in watts, megawatts that is the correct unit uh, to be put here. Now, the next question here is comment whether the inlet and outlet flows are compressible or not. So, uh, that is something that uh, one should pay attention. This is a variable density flow because density is changing from uh, section 1 to section 2, but how do you decide uh, whether the flow is compressible or not? Uh, that has to be done by uh, calculating the Mach number as we had. Uh, said in our initial classes that compressibility effects become important once uh, uh, Mach numbers become greater than uh, 0.3. So, uh, uh, if we can look at the Mach number, so at Mach number at station 1 is uh, 20 divided by uh, the speed of sound which is square root of uh, gamma um, r and uh, t. So, this Mach number at 1 it is quite uh, small it is it you get it around 0 0.05 uh, 7 you get at such uh, low numbers. So, definitely this is not a uh, compressible flow it is uh, its Mach number is less than 0.3. So, it is uh, incompressible and consider Mach 2 uh, M 2 uh, here it will be uh, 63.066 divided by the same, uh, but now the temperature is different. So, Mach number is again a local quantity. So, it has to be evaluated at those sections. And here you can find the Mach number is close to 0 0.1, but even this Mach number is less than 0.3. So, both these uh, 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 flows at section 1 and section 2 are incompressible. So, uh, but this is not a uh, constant density uh, flow. So, this example considers uh, different uh, concepts. Uh, it applies the quasi 1D uh, relations, combinations of uh, conservation of mass, momentum and uh, energy as well as uh, the um, thermodynamic uh, principles of ideal gas law and uh, we are able to get this uh, uh, so, uh, complete uh, this solution. So, this applies all the different uh, concepts that we had learnt in the uh, following uh, in the previous uh, sections. So, uh, now let us look at uh, another uh, example which is also a combination of control volume analysis and uh, uh, thermodynamics. Uh, so, air enters a machine at uh, 373 Kelvin uh, with a speed of 200 meter per second and leaves at uh, standard sea level uh, temperature at uh, of uh, 15 degree centigrade, uh, 15 degree centigrade is uh, 288 Kelvin. Uh, machine delivers uh, work of uh, 100,000 joules per kg without any heat input, uh, what is the uh, exit velocity? what will be the exit velocity if the machine is idling. 
So, this is given here. So, again we draw a control volume around the machine. We know that a certain uh, air is input, it is coming in at 200 meter per second and uh, 373 uh, Kelvin is the temperature Kelvin mm, and uh, it leaves uh, so at this end T 2. So, this is section 1 at section 2 uh, you have 288 Kelvin. Uh, so, uh, now we have to calculate the uh, exit velocity. Uh, so, we go this we uh, demands the conservation of uh, energy principles then you can uh, write the equation that uh, H 1 plus V 1 square by 2 is equal to now the work is uh, removed from the system. So, H 2 plus V 2 square by 2 plus the work removed from the system W out. So, um, now uh, H is C p into T. So, C p multiplied by 373 Kelvin here and C p is taken as 1005 cp. So, um, plus v 1 is known 200 square by 2 equal to 1005 applied by 288 plus v 2 square is not known and this is known the uh, work done. So, now you can find what is the velocity so, V 2 comes out to be uh, 104.16 meter per second. So, uh, so that uh, you can see that there has been a reduction in the velocity due to the work that has been taken out of the uh, machine. Uh, now, if it is idling when there is no, uh, so when it is idling no work is taken out the equation again still remains the same which is the conservation of energy. Uh, now, that no work is uh, being taken out of the machine and if it still continues to exit at the same temperature then it would have uh, much higher uh, velocities and uh, the relevant equation is Two eighty eight uh, plus um, V two square by two, and then the velocity can be uh, higher, much higher, which is four fifty nine around four fifty nine uh, meters per second. It will come to around this value. So here again, control volume principles and uh, energy conservation equations have been used. Uh, to solve this. So, uh, uh, in gas dynamics once uh, you come in uh, you always have to apply fluid flow equations along with energy equation and uh, the um, uh, the ideal gas loss or the equation of state and this is true when we do even uh, with simplification we do quasi 1 d relations there also we have to solve all these. Uh, system of uh, equations. So, with that uh, uh, we will end this uh, class and from next class we will come to some very important uh, concepts known as the stagnation concepts and the uh, star concepts or the sonic concepts conditions. So, uh, that would be uh, the next class.